care to cut, Miss Brandt? No, my dear Mr. Phillips. Let us say, I trust you. Is that why you've invited your armed henchmen to join our game? Yeah. They enjoy high stakes. Your play. Hmm. Six. Nine. Nine again. Four. Five. Reverse. And Uno. Oh, my God. Draw four wild. Ashlock. Make it yellow. Yellow four. Wild card. I've only got one card left, Hannah. Yes. What are you hiding, dear boy? Name a color and find out. Green. Sorry, Miss Brandt. I'm out. Oh, Dark. Marvelous. Ugh. Shall we raise the pot by another 10,000? By all means. I am curious, Mr. Phillips, about the size of your vagers this evening. I was led to believe you were... Mm, Unemployed? I call it being a man of leisure. I understand the intelligence agency you were working for. The Extraordinary Missions Force. I don't know who you're talking about. Was disbanded nearly six months ago. I wonder, who is filling your billfold now? Is my money not good enough for you, my dear money launderer? I retired. I don't work for anyone. Uh, Who is calling you, Chet? I... On a mobile phone, technologically advanced enough to pierce our jamming devices. Let us put them on speaker. Oh, oh hey, let's not... Good morning, Agent Phillips. Mm. It's Section Chief Granger. Hey, Skip. I hope I haven't caught you at a bad time. Skip, how were you able to contact this completely untraceable phone? We're Terry Core, Chet. We could be on any phone anywhere. You are working for Terry Millionaire, the philanthropist billionaire. I was kind of in the middle of something, Skip. I understand. I just really needed to discuss your expense reports. Kill him! I see you were infiltrating that unsanctioned Samsung employee training retreat in Tucson, but now you've booked a hotel in Dusseldorf? Yeah, well, I was following up a lead and it got... <clears throat> complicated. Well... As you know, new leads require a submission of Form 6HX, and I do see that your expenditures in something called Der Kuchi Kuchen were over 30 euro. Hey, that was a private transaction. <laughs> Privacy, schmivacy, we're always watching chat. I'll file the paperwork when I get back to the office. <laughs> That's great. Thanks for being such a team player. Talk soon. <sighs> Hannah, what would you say to an offer to play around a phase 10 for your list of buyers? Eh? <laughs> Rejected. Ugh. Mission Rejected. The story of the world's most secret agents. The backups. Tonight's episode, The World is Way Too Much, Part 1. Agent Phillips, you were supposed to be spying on a corporate event in Tucson. You were not authorized to track down Hannah Brandt, no <sighs> matter how laundered her money was. Things just escalated quickly. Come on, Skip. Did we really join this new agency to investigate electronics companies? And I would prefer you call me Section Chief while we're on duty, Agent Phillips. Ah, McGrath used to overstep professional bounds during our first year together, too. Chief, can my next assignment be a little more... Sexy, this corporate stuff isn't my speed. Well, I can certainly brief you on your next mission. Great. Right after our morning handshake meeting. Or right, what now? Let me get my Terry phone. Uh, video call Terry Millionaire, please. Good morning, Mr. Millionaire. Morning, everyone. Hey there, Skip. Chet. Secretary Whitmire. So, good to see you. Oh, I understand you boys have been having some uh, miscommunications about paperwork. Oh, uh, How did you hear that? Boys, you know we hear everything within range of a Terry chip. Like the ones in your phones. Right. Privacy schmivacy. I mean, I can't imagine there's enough hours in the day to listen to everything, like expense report reports. I spent a good bit of yesterday whistling show tunes. I hope I wasn't too pitchy. To be clear, our artificial intelligence systems listen to everything and deliver any mm, deviations to my ears. So, uh, why the fight, fellas? Sorry, sirs, I was hoping to take care of this matter without escalating it to you. Mr. Secretary, I don't want to go over the chief's head here, but 
back at the old job, I was always act first, file paperwork later. <gasps> to be fair, Section Chief Granger, you have been reorganizing the Terry Corps filing system since you joined us six months ago. And since you've got your entire science division working on automated filing cabinets... We haven't made any headway on our Genesis device. Sir, it is absolutely critical to integrate the old EMF system with ours. It sounds like you just want things back the way they were at your old organization. Sir, I assure you, I am not trying to recreate the old EMF. Just ask Dr. Strudebaker here. Hey, what day is it? His team is using my specifications to connect every Terry chip in the world to this robust automated virtual filing system. These chips will send data right to the Genesis AI, which files everything with maximum efficiency. Plus, we'll go paperless by 2026. Sir, right now your chips only have the bandwidth to handle what's going on inside your company. But if you get this thing online, we'll be able to listen in anywhere there's a Terry chip. Phones, computers, TVs. I mean, those chips are in plastic water bottle caps. That's right! We can surveil anyone, anywhere. And with Genesis, we can control any video or audio device we like, providing it's legally sanctioned. Correct, Mr. Secretary? Uh, what? Uh, sure. Very well, Section Chief. It seems you were the perfect man for this job after all. Thank you, sir. And thank you, Doctor. Do I live here now? How much longer can we expect this filing system to take to complete? The uh, president's patience is not unlimited. Uh, but the capacity of this system will be, Mr. Secretary. Uh, was that an answer? The answer is soon. I promise. Very well, Section Chief. Carry on. Oh, I want results, Skip. Yes, sir. These guys, out. Um, Skip? Uh, um, Section Chief Granger. Section Chief? We're really going to use Genesis, untraceable, undetectable, deepfake technology, replacing targets with human clones? Secretary Whitmire has assured me that it will be used sparingly and ethically. And you trust him? Of course! If I can't trust the United States government partnering with a cutting-edge technology company, who can I trust? Ha! Uh-huh. But this next mission must go 100% by the book. Are you ready, Agent Phillips? I was born ready. Where am I going? Here's the briefing packet. All right, let's see. Yay! North Dakota! Overly North Dakota. Where I'll be investigating an alpaca farm. A suspicious alpaca farm. Currently owned and operated by Athena. Oh my god! I thought that would get your attention. You found Athena O'Brien? And she's running a boutique alpaca farm called Sp- Bitten image? She's kept a very low profile, but she couldn't hide forever from Terry Chips. How? Well, last week she mistakenly bought a bottle of Dasani spring water. No, how is Athena herding llamas? Either she's using her contacts within the fashion industry to run a legitimate business. Or? Or she is using it as a front to start a new criminal enterprise. I wonder which. You're going to find out which. And it's uh, no coincidence that we're targeting a woman who once betrayed our employer? Check. I'll have you know, I chose this target, not Terry. But he probably told you exactly how to crush her if she's guilty. Well... And if she's innocent, then you can ease your mind knowing your rehabilitation worked. Right, Section Chief? I choose my targets based on my own assessments, Agent Phillips. That's not an answer, but mission accepted. Fantastic! Here's your team. My what now? Come on in, gang! Well, look what the cat dragged in. No way! Archie Grant? In the flesh. I thought you were out of the confidence game and making a bundle selling niche fashion accessories. Why would you want to come work for Terry and Skip? Maybe just to piss you off after you nearly had me chucked in a volcano and then didn't write for three years. Uh, yeah, sorry. Chief, I hope this team isn't entirely composed of people who want to kill me. I promise not to kill you. Oh, great! Ellie Mae Cedarstrom, literally a criminal mastermind. Uh, technically, Chet, Miss Cedarstrom has never been formally charged with a crime. That's right, Skippy Poo. <laughs> <laughs> That's Section Chief Poo. Thank you, Miss Cedarstrom. Skip, what on earth does Cedarstrom bring to the table? Athena has gone completely off grid with her business agent, Phillips. We believe she's done this to avoid our surveillance capabilities. She wants to disappear again, eh? Off the radar, like. Exactly, Mr. Grant. So, if we're going to find any evidence of wrongdoing... It'll be somewhere in her paperwork. Wait. So this mission 
is to rummage through Athena's filing cabinets. Exactly. Uh, uh, you and Miss Cedarstrom sneak in and search Athena's files. Mr. Grant will distract Athena with a business proposition. My company will be interested in a partnership, so you might... Maybe I can convince her to tell me who she's in bed with this time. Okay, is there anyone else on this team? Maybe the disappointed ghost of my father. No, it's me, Mario. Uh, who the hell is this? Your getaway driver. I think I can handle driving a car. Oh, my friend, you will be busy with coordinating the rest of our mission. Besides, I can outrun anything on the wheels. If we get into trouble, I will get us out of there before you can say pasta fajol. This mission is vital, Agent Phillips. If we can bring Athena O'Brien to task, Terry Corps' new EMF will have the full confidence of the American government. We will have the world in my filing system. Well, when you put it that way, let me see what I can do. Long-brimmed hat, whiskey at ten in the morning, feet up on the desk. Oh, uh, the life of a private detective. Don't forget your sexy personal secretary. Well, how could I? Oh, there's nothing quite like being a dick. Just like Josh Olson said. Uh, but boss, don't you have a client coming at ten o'clock? Jeez Louise, you're right, Bo. They were very mysterious about it, too. No name, no information. Just booked an office visit. That must be them. Look busy. Come on in. It's open. Gloria Kovac, private eye. Don't <gasps> believe it. Sup, folks? McGrath, it's so good to see you. Right back at you, Bowden. Get in here. Oh, we haven't heard a peep from you since we were all disavowed. What are you doing here? Um, you sent me a letter? What? We didn't send you anything. Hmm. It's our return address, but this isn't our official Canva letterhead. I was hiking the Appalachian Trail, and this letter was in one of the P.O. boxes I set up in Hot Springs. <laughs> you were hiking? <laughs> I was getting away from computers for a little while. Really? Since I have no way of knowing when Terry Chips are listening, yeah, I went off the grid. Oh, uh, Gloria Kovac Detective Agency, come on in. What? I received your letter, Kovac. This had better be good. Zelda? What up, Z? McGrath? Oh, I get it. Gloria's getting the band back together. No, by her reaction, I'm thinking we've all been set up. By who? Sure, I'll bite. Kovac Detective Agency, what do you want? Good morning, everyone. What? Good to see you showed up. Miss Kovac, I believe I have an appointment. You? You're my ten o'clock? Did you forge these letters to get us all here together? Technically, I was hired to do so. Ugh, having trouble paying the bills since the MF went down? No, not really. I've been doing NPR. My employer sent me this sealed packet. They asked me to deliver it in person to all of you, so you could do that thing you do. Solve a mystery? Cause disasters? Hobnob with sketchy figures? <sighs> Probably a bit of all three. You'll find payment and petty cash in this envelope. Wait a minute. This envelope is sealed and marked with a TSSCI clearance. We've all been disavowed. We no longer have top secret clearance. Opening this envelope would be a federal offense punishable by- Mackenzie! Uh, oh crap! It's Athena! What? This is a mission packet for Chet Phillips from Section Chief Skip Granger. It's a Terry wow. Corps mission packet? It says they're going to raid Athena's alpaca farm in North Dakota, and man, has she hit rock bottom. It all fell apart when you dumped her. Hey, easy lady. Well, my job is done. Wait! Who are you working for this time? Not your problem. Your case, if you choose to accept it, is simple. Protect private citizen O'Brien and spitting image alpaca farms from corporate espionage. I've already taken my cut from the envelope. Good day. But I have more quick Oh. So what do we do? I think it depends on who sent this to us. I think there's only one obvious answer. What's that? These are Chet's mission documents. He's the only person who should have them in his possession. His last words to me were that he was going to try to infiltrate Terry Corps and bring them down. Oh, there is also only one man who would have the gall to put 37 $1 bills in an envelope and call it expenses. 
He has been hanging around, poking his nose into my cases. You think he was trying to create a backdoor channel? But why did he wait until now? Maybe this was the first mission packet he had the opportunity to slip out of the office door. Or maybe something big is about to go down that couldn't wait. I don't know, Mackenzie. It's very little intel, and after everything, is it worth it to help Athena? Do you guys ever think about the things Skip said right before he walked out on us? Honestly, I try not to. Yeah, he was pretty angry at me and Zelda. He accused me of believing that he lacked any useful skill set. That's not exactly how he put it. I mean, do you think about what Skip said to us, McGrath? All the time. I think Skip's mixed up in something that he doesn't understand. And he's gonna need us if he's ever gonna get untangled. And if there's anyone who can mess up a Skip Granger mission, it's us. Okay. We'll take the case. Good. You won't regret it. I kind of already do. Okay, team. Archie, get to the front door. Cedarstrom, you're with me. Mario, keep the engine running. No surprises this time, Chet. <laughs> I can't imagine why there would be. Let's go. Okay, Come let's do it. Go. What's the difference between a llama and an alpaca anyway? About $12,000 on the black market. I can get you a deal on one if you want me to talk to Guillermo del Toro for you. Okay, team. Straighten up. McGrath, print us those snap face masks. Printing away. Zelda, you'll pose as a gardener at the hedges by the driveway entrance. You'll get rid of Mario. I'll have some choice Italian words for that maniac. Here's your mask, Z. Good luck. Now, Archie is going to try to get Athena to reveal her criminal contacts, so Bowden will arrive from the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service. Athena will watch her words while he's around. I'd hope to go the rest of my life without seeing Archie Grant. But if I get to con that con man, I'll make an exception. Get going! Sure thing, boss! Mackenzie, you and I will tell Chet and Ellie May. If they do uncover any criminal activities, we'll report it to the police rather than letting Terry Millionaire use it for his own nefarious purposes. Alright, here's your disguise. Put it on. Are you going to be okay turning Athena over to the authorities? I don't know. Did you ever accept Bowden's marriage proposal? What? Who told you? He did. Oh. I mean, uh, if we're doing girl talk. You know what? Let's get going. Sure thing, detective. Patience, patience. I will grace you with my present shortly. Archie Grant. Afino O'Brien. Good to see you when you're not threatening to bury me up to my neck in crabs. Ah, the day is still young. Come in, come in, step through the metal archway, please. Uh, what is this, some kind of metal detector? Not quite. You know, I thought I had to go face to face through a mutual Yakuza contact just to set up this meeting because, uh, you didn't use tech. First of all, he was ex-Yakuza. I don't deal with criminals anymore. I see. Nor do I use phones or internet. I built this little baby from older, sanitized scrap parts. It uses high-concentration radio wave bursts and shorts out all electronics to make sure you didn't come in here with any communication devices. Hang on, did you just break my phone? Open wide! And, and, whoa, what does this bleeding thing do? Oh, tongue swabs, it won't hurt a bit. For what? Genetic testing, checking your telomeres. Telomeres? What, what are you, checking to see if I'm a clone? <laughs> You're not, right? Let's just say I have my reasons. Now, open wide, or you don't come in. Oh, all right. <laughs> See? That wasn't so bad, now was it? Come in, come in, have a seat. So, you got no internet, but you got a multi-million dollar genetic tester? Oh, the CRISPR unit does more than test. We use it to genetically alter our alpacas for maximum fuzziness and docility. Tomas! <coughs> bottled water and tea, please. <coughs> good, good, yes. <coughs> bounce, yes, bounce. Mm-hmm. And, and lower. Oh, I can't well say done. I've ever been served by an alpaca before. Oh, he's still getting the hang of the kitchen cabinets. Thank you, Tomas. <coughs> so. Why don't you try to sell me on this business idea of yours, and I'll decide whether or not I let you live. Uh... Oh, 
sorry, old habits. I meant I'll decide whether or not I love the idea. I, I definitely saw Chet and Allie May sneak in here. Where are they? Oh. Maybe they're banking on the fact that they'll blend right in with a herd of filthy animals. I haven't seen any employees. Have you? No. It's the weekend. They're all off doing whatever you do in North Dakota on a Saturday. Although, really, what's going to top this? Okay, look for files. In a barn? Ellie Mae Cedarstrom led Chet in here. That woman can sniff out paperwork like a bloodhound. Maybe this is where Athena keeps less than savory information. Fine, come on. You know, I admit, I feel naked on one of these missions without comms or network connection. Don't think of it as a mission. Think of it as some light breaking and entering. That does make me feel better. And surprisingly, so does pushing through these designer llamas. They're so soft, right? I kind of hope Athena has gone legit. She'd do really well in the fashion sector. Yeah, that'd be nice. You don't trust her? I got a lot of mishmashed feelings about her, G. Oh, oh, back of the barn. They're not here. But they didn't just disappear. What's this? <gasps> it's a secret door! Follow me and stay quiet. This doesn't bode well for a gone legit Athena. Hello? Anyone in here? Hey, ah! over here. whoever you are, let us out of this cage. Before the man who put us in here comes back. Yeah, this really doesn't bode well for a gone legit Athena. Eh? What do you want? Gotta move the car. On Malta Benny, I park over there. You park in town. Chicos. This is private property. What's the matter for you, eh? Town is 15 miles away. Better get going, then. Now you listen to me. I drive an Uber. I'm here to pick up a passenger. It's a free country. I park where I want to. <coughs> it's not that free. It's the combination hat and coat. You got your hat, you got your coat, you put them together, you sew them together real cheap like. And what does this have to do with my alpacas? I mean, I've been doing this presentation for three minutes and I can't stop leaning up against Tomas here. We make hat coats out of this material, we'll make a killing. I don't do killing anymore. We'll make a living. I mean, with your contacts, tell me, who are your biggest buyers? You haven't earned that information. Oh, come on, every great business relationship starts with trust. Was... Uh, do you have a second meeting? No. Tomas, get the door. <clears throat> Good morning, sir, ma'am, whatever gender this edible is. Mm -hmm. I'm here from APHIS. Uh, we already rented a car. No, sir, the Edible and Plant Health Inspection Service. You're overdue on your farm inspection. It'll just take an hour or so. We're kind of in the middle of a business deal here, bud. I can't tell you how sorry I am to ruin your day in particular, sir, but surprise inspections wait for no llama. <clears throat> uh, look, mate, here's 30 quid. Just tell your boss your car broke down, eh? Wink, wink. No, no, Archie. Spit and Image Farms is a strictly legal enterprise. We have nothing to hide. Come in, Inspector. Thank you, ma'am. Just stick your tongue out for a quick genetic test so I can see that you are who you say you are. Oh, uh, well, we've never met. How could I, uh... It will make sure that you're human. Oh, well then. And that you're not one of my many former associates or rivals whose DNA I have in my database. Uh-huh. You know what? I'm just getting over this cold. Maybe you should go to urgent care right now. Uh, maybe I shouldn't, you know, contaminate your instruments? Mm, stick your tongue out, fella. Now. Chet and Ellie Mae! What? How do you know who we are? You sound familiar. You're wearing a snap face mask, doofus. Oh, jeez, it's been so long since I've had one of these on. Okay, um, uh, hey! We're just some regular old do-gooders out doing good. Who tossed you two in this alpaca cage? Just find a key. And hurry. The man who put us in here is extremely dangerous. Oh, look. <gasps> More guests. Oh, shit. Christodos O'Brien. Careful, he's got... Uh, I mean, uh... Watch your backsides, Tootsie Pops. He's got a pair of wool shears. How many teammates have you brought with you today, Mr. Phillips? I don't know who these two are, Christodos. They're innocent civilians. Let them go. Or we'd be willing to trade? Two for two? You are all trespassing on private property. I am afraid I have no choice. Oh! 
but to call the police. Oh. oh. What? Great. You're not going to kill us? Of course not. I am a humble farmer, born and raised in North Dakota. We are doing nothing wrong here. Uh, okay, sure, uh, call the police. If whomever Mr. Phillips is working for tries to disavow you by having you murdered in jail, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh... Nice try, Chris, but Ellie Mae found all the files with your business contacts. It reads like a who's who of Interpol's most wanted, so go ahead and call the police. There is nothing illegal about shipping alpacas no matter who the buyers are is there i mean is there ellie may as someone who skirted the letter of the law for most of her life i'd have to say no ah crap so we'll call the police then wait a minute miss mcgillicuddy look at these shipping routes do you notice anything weird about them Oh, yeah. Cristados, you're shipping these same alpacas from one customer to the next. It's like an alpaca rideshare service. What are you up to? Nothing. Give me those papers. Hold on. These trade routes match up exactly to known weapon smuggling routes. Are you smuggling weapons inside designer llamas? My God! They've genetically engineered the alpaca fur to be so thick, you can hide contraband in the animal's pelts! So that's your game! Your alpacas are mules! Why does that sound like animal racism? It's, at the very least, zoologically inaccurate. Enough! Uh, perhaps you have convinced me <gasps> to not involve the authorities. Got any more bright ideas, Detective? One bad idea! I'll take it. You forgot just one thing, Christatus. And what is that? My Uncle Riley taught me the mating call of every wild animal on Earth. How could I have known that so as to forget it? <laughs> what is taking them so long? I hate doing this without comms. What was that? It's a me, oh. Mario! Ah! I thought you were out of cold! I got halted! I gotta smash a bricks with it! You Ooh. idiot! Get your foot off the gas! We're moving! Oh, no problem! I gotta steer while I strangle you! Oh. Uh, listen, lady, maybe we could just do an outdoor inspection? What do you think? You know, your unwillingness to submit to an invasive genetic test makes me wonder if you really are a government employee. Will you just get lost, fella? No. He's gonna stick out his tongue before I get testy. People, let's not fight in front of this peaceful, domesticated animal. Tomas, attack! Ah, down, Loma, down! I thought you were against murder now. This is technically legal. It's a castle doctrine state. Not the hair, not the hair. Oh, good God, it bit face off. Oh, no, 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 no. What? No, hi. I knew it. Grant, you rat. What? You brought your ex-EMF buddies with you. Oh, no, he's not with me. Tomas, kill. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get his legs. Get his legs. Get off. Get off. Oh, God. I wish I did have a phone. I would like to this. It's going to take more than one mad alpaca to bring us down, Athena. Out of the way. Oh, Dad, what the hell? He's Okay. You see, they're very well trained. Oh, hello, Chet. Hi, Athena. Now, if there are no further distractions... Oh! Oh! Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hello, Chet. <sighs> I brought your car around. Thanks, Zelda. Oh, my head! Okay, I've been really good for six months but you have all convinced me that I've earned a little murder as a treat. I think if the cops find burglars trampled to death, that won't raise too many questions. Oh, for crying out loud. Don't do it, man. McGrath? McGrath? And let me guess, Kovac. Oh, what the hey? You got me. Athena, you look great. You're covered in alpaca shit, but you look all right, I guess. And you're doing great. The business is legit. You haven't smuggled any weapons yet. And these alpacas are so soft. I'm a genius, right? Super genius. Lex Luthor style, babe. Look, you're this close to owning the entire fashion world. 
So just call the police, we spend a night in jail, and everybody moves on. <sighs> I'm such a sucker for you. I have that effect on people. All right. Dad, send in the cops. They're already here! Skip! Yeah. Ranger! Hey, boss. Funny seeing you here along with everyone else on Earth. I was just listening in and decided to wrap this up. How are you listening in? There are no Terry chips here. Sure there are! In your plastic water bottle cap. Is this thing on? Hello again, everyone. Ah! <laughs> Terry, you are just trying to ruin me out of spite, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about, Athena. We work for the government. That's right. And the house is surrounded. We have recorded your files, everything that has been said at the farm today, and have enough information to show that you intended to smuggle weapons using alpacas. Thank you. Have a great day. So, let's get out of here, Dad. Uh, right on your tail, sweetheart. To me, Tomas. <laughs> Wait. Wait to see you again, everyone. McGrath, especially you. Athena. Tomas, <laughs> away! <laughs> oh, what? You think you can outrun the great Mario Capretti? I can erase anything. <laughs> Wait, I'll curse the Get back here! <laughs> oh, forget it. Granger, your old crew showed up and ruined everything. And I got three guesses who sent them here. And all three are Chet. Backstabbing Phillips. That's not true. Skip Terry. Oh, go wank yourself, Phillips. Don't call me again. Archie, wait. Getting out of here. Skip? Oh, hi, Gloria. Hi. How long have you been eavesdropping on us? Uh, since everyone received those letters Chet mailed, summoning them to your office. What? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Terry, I don't know what he's talking about, but... Hush, Chet. <laughs> How is that possible? The postage stamps on the envelopes were a new line embedded with Terry chips. I think you're fired, Chet. Oh, you think? Good try, though. A for effort. You know what? You can't fire me. I quit. And don't expect me to schedule an exit interview, Skip. <gasps> oh, you tell him, Phillips. Burn it all down. And don't let the door hit your well-chiseled posterior on the way out. <laughs> Ms. Cedarstrom, there's an escort waiting to take you back to Terry Corps. Please join them. Oh, I can wait for Skippy. Go. Now. Very well. Don't mind me, folks. I'm sure you'd like to catch up. While you listen in through a water bottle cap? Keep yapping, Terry. I'm just going to power up Athena's chip zapper here. Ladies, I am the soul of discretion. <laughs> There's nothing you could say to Skip. That'll do it. So, how's everyone been? Skip? Is my office Terry bugged? How much are you able to hear? Well... Are you on our phones? He's on everyone's phone. Uh, Terry chips are in everything. He can listen to anything he wants. But I wanted to talk to you all again, face to face. Yep. Remember how we used to... Nope. I mean, despite the fact that you weren't supposed to be here, you ended up being a big help today. Skip, what exactly did we accomplish here? We helped a corrupt multinational corporation. I guess I was right about regretting this. Come on, Bo. Uh, well, take care, McGrath. Zelda? See you all in another six months, I guess. Wait, guys, I just wanted to say that I... I oh. You really got away with words, don't you? McGrath, I just wanted to... Talk. I'm here. Talk. I miss you. I miss hearing from you. I just... Are you okay? I'm okay. Really? I'm out on my own for the first time in years. And it's been great. I'm so happy to hear that. Looks like the job's been keeping you busy. Uh, it sure has. Pretty soon we'll have my old EMF filing system completely integrated, and then we'll be ready to take on the world. How soon? Honestly, I'd say by... Oh, 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 oh. you almost got me. <laughs> Pretty slick, Section Chief. I'm still getting used to that title. And being in charge. Hey, you ordered us around for years. Remember the time I made you follow a plan so complicated it required 3D pop-up books of a Swiss hotel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember the time I made fun of you so hard your brain overloaded a server? Remember the time we illegally <laughs> broke into a warehouse in our pajamas? <laughs> I really miss you. Me too. Come work for me? No. Terry would be lucky to have you. He can't have me. All you need is someone on your side. I can get your foot in the door, but it's now or never. Go back to Terry Core, Skip. All right. Goodbye, McGrath. Whatever. 
<laughs> oh, shut up, you soft jerk. <laughs> Screw this. What now, McGrath? We're heading for the airport. I want to hire the Kovac Detective Agency. What? Really? To do what? We're going to break into Terry Corps and stop Skip Granger. Mission Projected was created and produced by Pete Barry, J. Michael DeAngelis, and John Dowden. Associate Producer, Paige Klinecki. This episode was written and directed by Pete Barry. It starred Chris Klinecki as Skip Granger, Naza Sarkaya as Mackenzie McGrath, Dave Stanger as Bowden Moncrief, Paige Klinecki as Gloria Kovac, Faith Dowgan as Section Chief Zelda Anders, with Kirk White as Chet Phillips and Katarina McGrath as the Mission Boys. Also starring Ashley Banks as Athena O'Brien, Jill Ivey as Ellie Mae Cedarstrom, and Bob Killian as Archie Grant and the Admiral. Guest starring Rebecca Surface as Hannah Brand, David S. Deer as Terry Millionaire, Eric Perry as Whitmire, J. Michael DeAngelis as Mario Capretti, Pete Barry as Christados O'Brien, Caden Dowgan as Timmy Two Bits Thompson, and John Dowgan as Dr. Strudebaker. Music, sound editing, and mixing by Pete Barry. Patreon members heard this episode, and every episode, early. For as little as $1 a month, you can be among the first to hear how this cliffhanger resolves, and then you can lord it over your friends. I know I would. Learn more at patreon.com slash missionrejected. This has been a Portroom Production, copyright 2024, Extraordinary Missions Limited. Hey, Chief. Uh, yes, Dr. Strudebaker? We're done. Can we get breakfast now? The system is completed? It's ready for Genesis? That's right. All right. I'll make my report to Mr. Millionaire. Good work, Doctor. Okay, I didn't tell him anything. Can I have my breakfast burrito now? It's on me, Doctor. Okay, guys, break time. Oh, you hope this foiling system was worth the wait. Why not ask your prisoners? They're not prisoners. They're detainees working off their 3,000-year sentences. Mm. We even let this one out in the fresh air for a while. Isn't that right, uh, Mrs. Sedestrom? <sighs> Sedestrom, what is your name? Judy? The filing system Skip created is... It's ingenious, Mr. Secretary. My eyes water at the thought of its beauty right, and... Right, whatever. Weirdo. And how are the cloning chemicals looking, <sighs> DeSoto? Would you believe they would have been produced much faster if you'd let me out of this cage? Can I stop sweeping now? Sure thing, Timmy. In another 2.9 millennia. Give or take a century. Uh, <laughs> you missed a spot. Uh, I've waited too long for this, Terry. All things in the fullness of time, Eustace. By tomorrow night, we'll be fully operational. And my clones? Where's the physical Genesis device? It's still safe in storage on the Terracor Dark Train. I think it's just about time to go down and retrieve it. Don't you? Genesis device at 99% power. Genesis de- Genesis device fully powered. Starting cloning process. Job zero zero. Zero, zero, one. Subject, Hunter, Ridley, Randolph, Fletcher. Hello, world! <laughs> Another quality podcast from the porch room.